Hi, my name is Timur and my project is Robotic Arm Weightlifting via Trajectory Optimization. The goal of this project is to design a robot arm controller that performs weightlifting motion. The problem setup and assumptions are described on the slide. Formally, I want to find a control signal U for the robot arm so that the arm lifts the weight as high as possible. Note that this problem has an important constraint. The torques applied at arm's joint cannot exceed specified torque limits. Without torque limits, the weightlifting problem is meaningless, since any arbitrarily heavy weight can be lifted by exerting unbounded torques. Consider a simple solution for the weightlifting problem. In this baseline solution, I define a hand-designed trajectory in the configuration space. This baseline trajectory interpolates between the initial position of the arm and the upright position, and holds the upright position for some time. I execute the C-space trajectory in position control mode and monitor the torques commanded by the inverse dynamics controller. Using the baseline trajectory, the robot arm can lift moderately heavy weight. This video clip shows the example of lifting 5 kg sphere. The figure on the left shows the object height and the torque magnitude as functions of time. Note that for the given weight, the baseline trajectory can be executed without torque limit violation. If we try to use the baseline trajectory to lift a heavier weight, the torques commanded by the controller exceed the limits. This trajectory doesn't define a valid weight lifting motion for the given weight. In this project, I use trajectory optimization framework for the weightlifting task. In the trajectory optimization problem shown on the slide, the goal is to solve for the control U and the state trajectory X, which minimize the trajectory cost. The total cost includes a final cost depending on the final state of the system and the running cost, which is integrated over time. The final cost includes a final lift height term and a final joint velocity term. The running cost includes a lift height term and a torque magnitude cost. I solve trajectory optimization numerically using direct collocation approach. In this approach, the original problem is transcribed into a non-linear mathematical program. Solving the mathematical program, I obtain nominal torque and state trajectories. To execute the motion, I track the nominal X trajectory with the inverse dynamics controller. This video clip shows the robot arm lifting 5 kg weight using the optimized trajectory. The optimization method finds a non-trivial trajectory which utilizes a swing-up motion early on to build momentum. Compared to the baseline trajectory, the optimized solution needs shorter time to lift the weight. When applied for a heavier weight, the method finds a valid trajectory satisfying the torque limits condition. The method is robust to changes in the weight configuration. These video clips demonstrate lifting of 10 kg and 19 kg dumbbells. The method also finds a valid lifting trajectory for an imbalanced dumbbell.